Hello all, this is me Soundarya KS. I'll be talking about object oriented programming and creating class in this week. In object or what is mean by object oriented programming? It is the programming style uh, where we write code as if everything in the programming world were an object, just like in the real world. In the real world, everything around us is an object and each object has some properties and function properties are qualities or characteristics of the object functions are actions that the object can do they define the behavior of an object so com coming to the class let us create with the pattern one we have two patterns here they are almost symmetrical and then when we need to create a parallel object, we should actually first make the design and, uh, and assign all the properties and function of the object to it. Based on this design, we need to create as many parallel objects as we want in the game. This is called the class. So first, we, we have some properties same to this computer pattern and this player pattern. First of all, I will add the commentaries. I'll just add computer pattern and the player pattern. This is the computer pattern and this is the player pattern. And this is the react ball. So here we have in the computer panel and the player panel we have the y position, x position, y position width and height the same, x position is along different. That's fine. Now we, we are going to group it together. So first of all we are going to form the class as we are going on and on. You will be able to get it. So I am going to say create file I'm gonna say um uh, uh, maybe paddle.js now in this paddle.js I'll write this is a class so class paddle in semicolon and here and then constructor what does mean the constructor is constructor is nothing but while you are going to give some properties to it you are now going to give some there is no wrong but it's in panel because this is not a function <laughs> in constructor you are going to give some functions you're going to give some parameters to it so here I will add this dot width because this is a parameter. This dot width is equal to this dot width. Where maybe we can say the same width which it which we took here, which is the ten. Both are the same. So sorry. Yeah, I ten and this dot height is equal to maybe hundred because that that is what we took. And this dot x position is equal to we give zero for now, and in later we will define it. Position is equal to let us give zero for now, and we need to display it. Why display is important is we have now created it. We have not drawn it. We have not displayed it. In sketch.js, here it is function draw, which will draw it. But here we have been drawing it here. We have just created it. So we need to draw it. We have actually, we have not created it also. We we are going to, uh, this is a class. So everything we do here, we need to define it in the sketch.js. And we need to define it in draw and we need to create it. This is where why class is very important is 
we can group some properties of the objects. And instead of doing everything in the sketch.js, doing everything again and again, we can use this class to define it very easily. Now in this display function, I'll be doing this rect. Rect, this dot x position, next dot y position, comma, this dot width, and this dot height. The same way which we will be able, which will be doing it in the draw function, the rect command. So we have displayed it now. After we have displayed it, it is in the class function. We have not told the x position, y position, and it is very we have not done it in the sketch.js. So now we will now do uh, do the same in sketch.js. What we will do is we will create a variable for player paddle. Missing semicolon. Okay, there should not be a gap. Actually, always in computer programming, you get the first um, word, first word as a small, a small letter, and the second as the capital letter. Computer paddle. So this is done and we will we will do the ball later but for now we will do the player panel and computer panel. Now we will now write the code for player panel. So first of all in the setup we are setting up we will write that player panel is a new panel. Because we cannot uh, this is, we are creating a new panel for it. Now we will write computer paddle equal to new paddle. Can you notice something which says that paddle is not defined? It is because we have not included it in index.html. Index.html is where it is an HTML code and you need to insert whatever you do in this index.html file. This is uh, HTML is in another, it's like a programming language only. It's in hypertext markup language. So here, script src. So we, uh, we will use the same code as such. Script see script source that means script uh, the script source is paddle.js as with that name and you you end the html code by having this slash backslash and script that means it, it, the code has been ended so now you will get this problem now we have said that this, these both are new paddles. So now we will be creating the player paddle. We don't need this a rectangle now. I'll just close um backspace it. And now we'll be needing a bit we'll be creating the player paddle. So first of all, we have not yet given the position for the player paddle. So to give the position for the player panel, first of all, I'll comment and write player panel. We'll say that player panel dot x position is equal to 390 or 385. Same way we need to write player panel equal to player panel dot x position because here in Parallel.js, we have used this dot exposition. Here, this is replaced by player panel. 
we got to 385 and player paddle dot y position is equal to um it was 150 or yeah 150 and then we will be giving the player paddle dot display why display is because we have used to, we have called a function here called display so here we are going to execute that function because there this function will be executed right here so player these all are the syntax for this javascript the javascript is case sensitive so we need to use the like display. Now this play panel has been displayed. The same way we are gonna create the computer panel. So now our computer paddle is ready. So quickly let us create the ball. Ball will also be the new paddle because all are, are the rectangles. So we can use ball as a new paddle. We can say that ball sorry one minute yes dot x position is equal to unexpected token menu um in the uh unexpected token oops here catch number twenty four line number twenty four okay this into this function draw fine uh huh There is some syntax error mix. There is uh, the ending is not perfect. Okay. Correct ball. Ball. Dot x position is equal to um ball dot x position maybe two hundred because that we have. Oh. oh okay my pin number now 200 ball dot y position two hundred again now for the ball it is not the same width and height so we need to tell the width and height again with equal to um we can give 10 maybe 15 anything height is equal to 10 so now i'm going to display the board okay it's very small so i will give it as 15 oh okay one of five Yes, so now we have our ball here. We have used the R class to define this position. So that's it for this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.